Hello everyone and welcome back to Alex Marie DIY. I'm Alex Marie, I run this channel and I also have a blog, alexmarie.com.ng, please check it out. So today's video is really just, it's a vlog. I'm going to be showing you how I sorted out my fabric stash for the year, how I've gone about planning for my sewing for the year because I really haven't done much sewing this year to be honest and now that I'm stuck at home. I really have more time to concentrate on these things. So this is pretty much my sewing space right now. I move it around depending on where I can in the house. So for now I'm in this room, which is just great because it gives me a lot of space. Right, so let's get into the video. And oh, if you haven't, please, please, please subscribe and support this channel. All right, see you after the break. Now, when I was initially planning my wardrobe idea, one of the things I took into account was my body shape. I was really trying to find articles on how to dress for my body shape. And after a lot of searching, I came to this website called The Concept Wardrobe. So she has a whole set of, it's a beautiful blog, a beautiful uh, website, really has a lot of information on building your wardrobe. She is really good at buying outfits and all that, but it still works even if you're sewing your own outfits. So if you scroll down in her website, when you go to build your ideal wardrobe, this is not a review by the way, I'm just, it's just what I used. Uh, she has all these steps on planning your wardrobe. I think there are about 11 steps. I only used the first four because that's what I was really concerned with. That's analyzing your lifestyle, your body shape, choosing your style, and a color palette. Then the fabrics, patterns, compiling a wardrobe and shoes and all that. I didn't really bother with that. That's something I'll figure out on my own. So this website really helped me. She has um, worksheets and all that, but I didn't use that. Instead, what I did, I made notes on my OneNote app. I simply just made notes based on her exercises so i really took note of my lifestyle the weather we have in nigeria here where i live i took note of the body shapes that suit my body shape usually most people cross over into more than one like me i've seen i'm mostly a pear shape but my waistline is diminishing so i'm entering rectangle sometimes it depends so i apply the rules for both of them and then I made a list of outfits I really would like to have in my wardrobe based on my work life or my in my lifestyle, how much time I work, sleep and all that. It just gave me an idea, uh, like for exercising, some joggers, sweatpants, maybe running shorts, um, tank tops and things like that, work clothes, chiffon blouses, pencil skirts, this, that, that, and home clothing because I don't want to be in tank tops and jeans all the time and it just reasonable uh, gives me an idea of things i'm really lacking and i want to update and change in my wardrobe and here you can see i've taken notes of this general ideas for my body shape the kind of outfits i should wear that will be flattering and whatnot things like that another app i have been using to i've been on pinterest for ages so i have a pinterest board i have a pinterest page you can find me alex marie diy and see what i've been pinning lately you can see my pins pins i've been working on but most importantly if you follow me i can follow you we can see what each other what we are all saving so here i have really been pinning things i'm interested in dress patterns skirt patterns one piece patterns shirt patterns like in my dress patterns you can see um, there's a silhouette I'm going for. I want some maxis, some minis, mostly a lot of v-necks, some feminine looking outfits, a lot of fit and flair to emphasize my pear shape more and things like that. So this is a good place to really compile your thoughts and your ideas. And it's really going to give me inspiration for what to sew so that I have a plan. I don't want to sew things I want to wear. So you can join me on Pinterest. That will be lovely. So that's what I've been doing. That's how I've been planning my wardrobe. And finally, I also made a quick, um, a quick template of a sewing planner. I might upload it if anyone is interested, but it's nothing serious. It's really just this one page. 
let me shrink this down this is just this one page where you have the outfit name you have spaces for maybe the real picture you're using as inspiration maybe for a sketch then you can put the dates the dates is really broad it's like the date you're making it the date you're planning to make it you can put a swatch of the fabric you're use, trying to use and then there's some supplies you might need and then a checklist of the steps you've reached in making the outfit maybe drafting it cutting it actually sewing it the finishing testing it out whatever things like that so it just repeats over and over again so it's like a booklet and i can just print it out and use over and over again so i'm hoping to do this between april to september just give myself a few months uh, well april to october how much six months <laughs> thereabouts just to see what i can sew i wish honestly i can do like three outfits a month that seems very little to some people but for me that would be a, a lot of progress if i can just do that given my lifestyle so that's what i've really been doing that's how i've been planning now let's move on to the next thing i'm going to be doing which is sorting my fabric so this is all i am um, this is most of the fabric. If you have an idea, there's still some on the floor, there's still some out of frame here. But the most important thing, what I'm planning to do, I'm going to label everything just to note um, how many yards I have and all that. I'm also going to cut out swatches and put in this notebook and label that just to have an idea what I have, how many yards, so that when I'm picking a style or an outfit from Pinterest that I like, I want to try and replicate I'll know which fabric I can use and all that and this is also going to just help me with my sewing, sewing planner that I already showed you on the PDF document so let's get started I think I'll start with the Ankara because it's already neatly folded I'll just get all those ones out of the way before I tackle my chiffons because I have a lot of chiffons and then maybe some knit fabrics right Now I am moving on to the oh, some stretch lace, chiffon, also stretchy, some stretchy, some plaid, just fashion fabric in general. And we're going to pull these and see how they're done. I used to keep these boards, just these little, my ink cartridge cutter I keep over the years. I just use it to stabilize some of these shifty fabrics so as they're folding the same as before swatch measure fold I think I've actually done this before to this set but as I can see an old label there so I just have to confirm what I did and start folding and as always take a swatch from the corner
everyone I am back well this is about two days since I started this bag is pretty much just filled with clothes that I want to upcycle or reuse or update in some way and we're getting down to the bag of scraps yes things I've used and all that I am pretty much going to sort this by size and functionality see which sizes are big enough if anything is up to one yard etc etc and just fold them in some way that makes sense so that's what's going to happen to this pile it's not as big as it looks it's just messy so i'm just going to go through that done this bag has the one yard fabrics this one has the small scraps and this one has the lining scraps and okay that's the upcycling bag and this suitcase is just miscellaneous things that were sewn before so I'll check that out so that's all for the suitcase this mostly contains things I use for tutorials old quilts and stuff interfacing Random fabric I think I bought for quilting too. Usually and just pretty much stuff I intend to focus on really quickly. So they're just in here where I can easily reach them. And that's all for the cleanup. So this is a final scrapbook. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So hopefully it's going to help with my sewing in future. And this is the closet. I've put everything back in some orderly fashion. Well, hopefully this will inspire me to sew more now that I can see everything. At the bottom, I have the scraps. I'll try and use the one yards as much as possible. Right, so thank you for following me on this journey. It's been a wonderful cleanup time. I hope this inspires you to try your own luck. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.